Hello, this is the Balkan Architect and today I will show you how to create a, fun a functioning light family in Revit. So first we need to go here to New and Family. Now you're going to get this menu. Uh, you can use English Imperial. I prefer metric so I'm just going to go English. I'm going to find metric lighting fixture ceiling based. This will be a light that goes into ceiling. So I'm going to double click on that and here we have a ceiling plan. So this is a reflected ceiling plan and this is your ceiling. When you select it, it says basic ceiling. So this will be the host to your light. And here you have these two reference planes and in the middle you have your light source. Now when you click on light source, you can use this generic light sources or what I prefer is you go on this one. Uh, this is photometric web and this allows you to find a phot photometric uh, file from light manufacturer and load it in your model. So if you're working for some light manufacturer you can use that. And I'm going to make uh, this emit shape just from a point. So I'm going to go apply and OK. Now you can see this is kinda rotated a bit when you go to front you can see it's kinda twisted so you just need to go to family types and here where it says tilt angle you just type here 90 degrees and go apply and now it will be perpendicular to your reference planes when you go to this front elevation or view uh, you can see here is your ceiling and this is the offset of your light from the ceiling. Uh, I'm going to put here let's say 110 millimeters and I'm going to click on this reference plane and I'm going to go uh, type CS which is create similar and I'm going to create a similar or basically just the same reference plane in the middle uh, between the ceiling and the light. I'm going to click on that and here I'm going to type 100 so we will have a 100 millimeter high light in the ceiling. I'm going to name this reference plane just one just to have something to remember it by. Now when I go to ceiling reference plane or reference level uh, I will just now create the geometry of the light. I'm going to go create extrusion I'm going to go for circle and I'm just going to set up my work plane and I'm going to go pick a name or name and then go to reference plane one. This is the one we created. So I'm going to go OK and I'm going to go just from the center and I'm going to use a circle and let's say 300 millimeters. Now I'm going to create a new circle inside of that so this will basically be a short tube this is 295. So I'm going to hit OK and we created our extrusion. When we go to front view you can see it kinda overshot the ceiling so I'm going to bring it down, attach it to ceiling and lock it in place. And for the material I'm going to use just some sort of aluminum whatever if you're making this for some light manufacturer you should ask him what light they use. Uh, I didn't load it in. Aluminum. Load it in. Apply. OK. OK. We have aluminum. Now go back to ref uh, reflected ceiling level and now I have to create something uh, the diffuser basically. The, the, uh, something that's between the light bulb and basically you. Uh, so the light bulb doesn't shine directly in your eyes. So I'm going to go create, extrusion, uh, the reference plane is still one. I'm going to create a circle and this is just the one circle. And I'm going to hit finish. Now when I go to front elevation I'm going to set up here wireframe so I can see it and I'm going to bring this way down. This is just a thin diffuser and I can type in here maybe 3 millimeters thick. So 
this is our diffuser now as far as materials go I need a material that will shine light or basically when I render this light I need the material to be uh, shining or basically be turned on so I'm going to go by category I'm going to go home this AEC materials and find glass and here we have glass white high luminance that's the one you want to choose you load it in and you go apply I'll show you later why you need to do this why you need to load this material and that's pretty much it uh, also when you go to 3d view check it out how it looks like maybe go to realistic so you see we have our little diffuser and a housing and beneath that is this light source definition or basically light source will be coming from that from there now when you go here into family properties you can put in apparent load let's say 50 watts or you can set up here let's say this is 45 watts or efficiency is maybe a hundred these are this is all the information you should get from the manufacturer if you're uh, if you're creating this for a certain man light manufacturer I'm going to put in 4000 for the temperature and this is very important this photometric web file uh, this is what you get uh, from the manufacturer it's an e i e s extension and here Revit uh, it, it gives you some of their generic uh, uh, IES files so you can load one of these in but ideally you would get a manufacturer IES file so I'm going to go open just chose whichever one and I'm going to go apply and OK and see when I go over this you can see this is the the actual file so this is the shape of, of how the light basically falls into the room and that's finished and uh, that's pretty much it uh, one more thing if you want this to be able to connect to electrical outlets you can go to create electrical connection and I'm going to roll over here and basically trying to find this this face and okay here and you can see this is the connection symbol and for voltage <coughs> I'm going to type in 230 and for the apparent load you as you can remember here I typed in 50 so we need to connect this to that so just hit here this button and apparent load and now it will say 50 watts so that's pretty much it for this light now we need to test it so I'm going to load it into a project here I have a project now I only have four walls and basically a floor so I'm going to go ceiling plan and I'm going to create a ceiling uh, automatic ceiling and I'm just going to t leave here 3000 millimeters high and click OK and now we need to put in our light so go to component and here's our light maybe put three of them and you can see when you select them here is the connection so you can wire it up for your electrical tables and everything so go back to floor plan create a camera view so I'm going to be looking from over here and here we have the three of our lights and now let's render them so I'm going to hit double R for rendering I'm going to go for medium screen and as far as lighting you need to go here for shim and go artificial only and interior so that's okay and now render and as you can see uh, we put in the, that glass illuminating material and that's why our light is illuminated and we can see this is shining if we didn't put that material if we just put some default material this wouldn't be shining so that's pretty much it that's how you create 
a lighting fixture family in Revit and make it function in renderings. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and have a nice day.